Hello students, welcome back to my channel Learn HTML with Nandu Jadav and today we will complete all basic input controls of the form that are remaining. So the first one is list boxes and another that the submit button and the reset buttons. So let us start our another input control is list boxes. So list box in HTML or in web page we can insert two kinds of the list boxes the first one is drop down list box and second one is the scrolling list box this both kind of list boxes are inserted by using select tag that means html provide us select tag this select tag is a paired tag and its closing is compulsory okay so the first one we will see the list boxes in first one that is the drop down list box already we check we use the drop down list box uh, to apply formatting effects especially to increase or decrease the font size of the text or to apply uh, font face that the arial arial black times new roman etc at that time that controls already use already we use that control so when you click on that button then automatically this list one list is dropped in down direction by default and from that we can select a single option same process here suppose you want to select a single option from the uh, provided list box to you select a single option by using list box we need to use a drop down list box and to insert a drop down list box use this tag that is the select tag as per our rule each and every input control must have a name so select also is another input control so it must have a name so name so we are inserting here a uh, drop down list box and from the from that uh, drop down list box suppose we want to select a month so select name equal to month name equal to month this is a pair tag and its closing is compulsory so select only using opening select and closing select see here just we are inserting here opening select tag and closing select tag with month with its name month then what will be happen what is the what will be the output see here see this only list boxes that is displayed and only a button that is list box is displayed but there is no any option there is no any list item in this one and to insert list atoms in the list box in the drop down list box html provide another tag that is the option tag this option tag is always written within the opening and closing select tag this option tag is a pair tag but its closing is optional suppose first one first one that is the jan second one that is second option that is the feb third one just dot 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 our last will be that is the option is December clear for the code indentation we can use here tab okay so select this will also needed to display at the new line so again we use p tag here to change make changes and save this one and just rephrase this page see here yeah. january february march and december and here we can select any option okay here also we can assign here a label that is in list boxes select month Is the select month okay? This select month we can set here 
select month and after that there will be okay we will check this one refresh this one select month at the january february month see here the first option from the provided list is default selected option okay okay so here we can uh, give select month instead of this separate field you can give here uh, as a first value here also we can give the first value that is option and instead of this select month here we can give this here select month then the first value that is here select month so there is no need to give a separate label you can also say your this your work space web space by assigning this one and you can select here remember these radio buttons and this is drop down list box the purpose of both radio buttons and sing that the drop down list box both are same that we can select a single option but it i think it saves the web space this drop down list box saves works work up your workspace our web space because here are just only two values if there are so many values you need to display the contents one by one sequentially and it uh, waste our two three four lines so we can save the space or web space by using this drop down list box so the drop down list box is a best option for the radio buttons we can say okay the another one that is the scrolling list box scrolling list box so come here for the scrolling list box scrolling list box are also created by using select tag okay first we will give here a label that the scrolling list box scrolling list box and uh, in a scrolling list box we can give here we can select multiple option select your flavor suppose uh, uh, we are going to arrange some farewell function and want to give some ice creams to the students and the available varieties can be choose by students may be different so you student can select multiple flavors so to select multiple flavors to select multiple options you can give here say see our field name is select your flavor or flavors okay and in front of that select flavors we are going to give all available flavors okay so to insert this use select also name this input control as uh, this one also give likes drop down list box here also in scrolling list box all the list items are inserted by using this option tag okay we will discuss later uh, option tag and their details okay here also we can need we also need to insert option tag here select flavors okay the first flavor suppose uh, chocolate another one is suppose uh, pista another one is uh, suppose vanilla suppose another one is your favorite that the butterscotch another one is a mango that means we can give here multiple flavor list which are which is available with us and we just check what happen this what will be the code here 
see here also scrolling list box select your flavors here also like this uh, select month here also all flavors are displayed here but like a drop down list box that means here also we can select a single option but we want a to, user can select a multiple option from that so to convert this drop down list box into scrolling list box we need to use this attribute that is multiple multiple attribute okay and this multiple attribute of select tag converts drop down list box into scrolling list box see how what is the output of the see you can select multiple options by using control key or shift key you can select multiple options to select uh, non adjacent you can press control key and uh, click on your favorite flavor or any option and suppose you want to select all then press the first one and then last one and when you click on last one you must hold the shift button of keyboard we can select here multiple options so for the multiple selection we can use drop down list box sorry scrolling list box like a check boxes so this this scrolling list box is also based option for the check boxes here also 1 2 3 4 5 suppose there are so many flavors suppose there are so many hobbies so we need to display the contents at a multiple line but here we can control the size of this scrolling list box and display the contents in a small area that means here also we can save our web space okay now here by default 1 2 3 4 4 options are displayed suppose you want to display the contents here that means there is no extra space with us so we can uh, we can control the size of this scrolling list box to 2 how many how just here come to the our code and you can write here size size equal to 2 this size equal to 2 display the scrolling list box size See here, two two options only. That means you can select here first one. We can if you want to see another one, just use this scroll bar, scroll button, and select one by one. Okay, and you can submit your the selected option. So this one is the scrolling list box, and this one is the drop down list box and both these drop down list box and scrolling list box are based option for the ready buttons as well as check boxes okay like this ready button that means the value is must one here also we need to assign a value to the check boxes also so here the value is equal to you can Give a value in short to all check boxes, but this value is must because this value is all submitted along with the form. So we need to assign value to each each check box also. So here the value is equal to dance. Here the value is equal to sing. like this ready buttons and check box here also this option tag must have a value because if you select just only uh, month or just only flavor here and submit the form then no any value with this drop down list box as well as scrolling list box will be displayed so here uh, we will discuss the option tag and their values so this option tag already we discussed this option tag is a paired tag and uh, its closing is optional so uh, to assign a value we can give here value attribute so value is equal to 1 that is the first month we can set the value as a 1 also okay another one that the value for the fave is equal to 2 value of 
value for the march that is a 3 and for the for this value is equal to 12 that means the value and the displayed value may be vary but it is meaningful to the uh, form designer that which value he want to set because the value is uh, read finally by the form designer so value 1 if the uh, users uh, month selection month is uh, second at the fave then the value is submitted there too. Same process here also we can set the value for the flavors that is value equal to for the third one also that is for each option we need to assign a value so uh, here of the last one the second last one that is the butterscotch and the last one that is the for mango so value equal to mng okay so the first attribute of option tag is a value we set the value to the option to the list item and this value will be submitted with the form submission. Like the radio button and checkbox for to make a default selection. Here for the radio button and for the checkboxes, HTML provide us check the attribute for the default selection. Here also we can select a, a default month for the drop down list box, for the multiple list box, for the scrolling list box we can select. Uh, default values here multiple default values here and to select a multiple or single default value for the list boxes HTML provide suppose the March is the default month where we need to set then at that time you can use the selected attribute here also suppose you want to uh, display the first one that the chocolate is the default one so you use that is the selected as well as we can select here multiple that is the for the butterscotch and for this chocolate both are selected here as a default value so the another attribute of option is selected which make a default selection so we will see after having this one see here the march one is the default one and uh, here if you scroll the contents the first one is the chocolate is selected and then butterscotch is also selected okay so we can select here chocolate as well as butterscotch as the default selected options right so these are the list boxes in html we can align this form in a systematic manner by using table also just we are discussing how these input controls are inserted and how these input controls are worked so uh, these are the uh, major input controls along with these input controls we need to submit this form we need to reset this form and to uh, submit this form and to reset this form html provides two command buttons these command buttons are that the first one is to submit the form html provide the submit button so to insert submit button html provide again input tag with its type equal to submit this input type equal to submit automatically inserts submit button on the web page same process here to reset the form that is the input type equal to reset reset insert a reset button on the form okay see submit button and reset button when you contain type this contains password if you select this you change 
suppose mango is the default one submit then the form will be submitted and suppose to reset the form you can use this reset button this reset button resets the form and brings the form in its original place that means in its original contents so the reset button resets the form most important that is the submit button see here in code that the just we write input type equal to submit this input type equal to submit submit the form but where for that we need to check the form tag remember this form tag insert form create form on a web page but it consists some attributes that attributes that means when you press the submit button this submit button as well as this reset button is available with predefined query both submit button and reset buttons are available with predefined query that means when you click on submit button then microprocessor check the form tag and check its method then what is method that means this form tag consists two main attributes that is the first one is method this method is either set to get or post remember the value for this method attribute is either get or post where get is the default one suppose just only you write method or we you just not use any method attribute here then this method will be uh, get but this get and post what is the difference between what is the function of get and post the get value is different post is different 99% we uh, set the method to post because 99% user send the data post the data when you want to post the data at that time you need to set the method to post and when the web designer form designer wants to collect data from the um, any uh, database at that time he need to set the method as a gate so here we need to set the method as a post okay when the user click on the submit button the form look to the forms method that which action need to take on that is post or get here he understand that the method is post but where he want to post the data so to post to the particular location that particular location is included by using this attribute that is action so action attribute contains the path or name of that file which process our data that means the action value is any script program name which collect the information and process this as per given instruction so it is just only a file path or script program path we can say here that the script program which process our data so this both that the method and action are most important two attributes of form tag which process after submitting this form clear okay so method and action are the two important attributes of form there is another attribute of form that is name that is name it assigns any name any valid name you can give here any valid name clear value like this this name give or assign a name to the form first we discuss that that form tag cannot include another form within it that means nested forms are not allowed but we can insert multiple forms on a single web page that means the our first form is started here and end here suppose you want to insert another form you can insert another form by using this form tag and you can include its another input controls within that at that time this name this name attribute is very useful so the name action and method are the three main attributes of form 
and this is submit after pressing the submit button it looks to the form method and action and process the contents okay thank you these are the uh, basic input controls we already discuss uh, before that in html 4.0 now in HTML 5.0, there are some advanced input controls are available. These advanced input controls are supported in Google Chrome browser, in Microsoft Edge Order. Some of them are supported in Mozilla Firefox. So uh, in our next video, we will uh, discuss all advanced input controls or elements provided in HTML 5.0. Okay. So students, keep watching, keep learning and stay with me. Thank you.